What's going on guys, it's your boy J-Ho bringing you a brand new video and we're finally a few hours to the release of The Taken King. So The Taken King is finally coming out, we're finally at the week of the release of this expansion and this is a big expansion, it's going to change everything and we already saw all the big changes within 2.0 or patch 2.0 and there was a lot of things added into the game and a lot of things that changed how we play the game in general so everyone's going to be grinding going into this week of the release for Taking King and I want to share some stuff with you guys about what we can do to prepare for the big raid coming out on a Friday which is King's Fall it comes out on Friday the 18th at 10 a.m. Pacific I believe and it's gonna be an epic one everyone's excited for the raid that's the main focus of this week for everyone I believe at least and it's gonna be pretty epic so uh, one thing that we've been doing right now is grinding some crucible playing some rift playing some mayhem it's been a real blast and we get to continue doing that and going into the expansion but once the expansion releases Everyone's going to be mainly focusing on getting their characters up to level 40. So now that the change in experience and light level has been put into effect, uh, the leveling up or initial phase of the expansion is going to be a little bit different. So we're going to be playing some of the story missions and we're going to be leveling up, gaining experience just by killing enemies like normal. And it's going to be pretty easy, I assume, to get to level 40 since it's only based on exp experience now. And um, that's not going to be the main focus of heading into the King's Fall raid. So I think the main focus is going to be on gaining your light score, light level. And that's going to be the main focus going into King's Fall. You need a really high light score, or light level. And that's going to help you a lot in terms of your attack and defense going into the raid on Friday. So one big thing is going to be getting items such as your all your weapons, all your armor pieces, your ghosts, your class item, and even an artifact probably. Um, so that it can all add up to a decent light level that will help you be well prepared at most for the King's Fall raid. So... Um, headed into the tower right now the first thing I want to point out is one thing that we can actually begin doing before the expansion comes out although we're really close to the release of it anyway and probably all you guys have been working toward it but if you haven't yet I would recommend and begin working on this right now um, and that is to obtain a faction quest from any of the three factions available in the tower so for example, I'm on dead orbit right now. I have been, um, I have the allegiance to dead orbit with this faction badge right here in my inventory, and so I am subscribed or allegiance with dead orbit, and I also have received this faction quest from the vendor for dead orbit. So, if you guys are at rank 25 or higher on any of your factions, I would recommend choosing that faction first even though you don't want to choose that faction I would recommend choosing it because if you can complete all the tasks on this faction quest it will yield a exotic class item for your character and so this exotic class item can be equipped with other exotics and it's a really good class item I'll actually show you guys it in a minute but um, basically all you have to do for this quest is you have to slay minions of darkness I'm not sure how much but all you have to do is just keep killing minions of darkness in PvE um, you can probably do it within the second task which is complete heroic strikes and you have to do a total of 10 and what counts for this is either the weekly heroic or the nightfall which are the two things available right now before taking king or I believe once taking king does come out we're not gonna have a weekly heroic strike and you're gonna have to do it in the weekly heroic or the heroic strike playlist that they're gonna have in the vanguard section of your uh, directory in orbit and so you can choose that or you can do the nightfall strike that counts for this as well I believe and then you also have to slay crucible foes it doesn't say how much once again but you also have to win 10 crucible matches so you probably can slay a bunch of foes uh, within those 10 wins that you have so completing this will yield an exotic class item and mine is for dead orbit and I'm on my warlock right now so I'm gonna go show you what it will look like um, once I receive it so I'll, I'm gonna go on the armory on the bungee website and I'll show you guys right now 
So here we go, here's the exotic class item that I will receive once I complete the quest that I just showed you guys and this is the Warlock Dead Orbit Bond called Light Beyond. It requires you to be level 40 which we will all achieve once the expansion comes out and it has a defense rating of 290 so that's really good seeing as a lot of the exotics, a lot of the year 2 exotics in the exotic blueprint kiosk says 280 so this looks like a pretty good defense rating. I think it's going to be a really high light score. And uh, the perks on it are it increases dead orbit reputation gains and adds a dead orbit effect on spawn. So that's really good. Um, increasing your rep gains as well as having that cool effect on spawn. That's always cool. Little bonuses like that. And we also have a Life of the Exotic perk which says this piece of exotic armor can be equipped at the same time as other exotic armor pieces. So that's really good. Um, basically, I can wear this exotic class item and still wear an exotic armor piece at the same time. So that's really good. It will allow me to pick and choose which exotic armor piece I can wear as well. And also I can infuse stuff to make it even higher defense value and stuff like that. And it has other perks that are random that could increase reputation gains. Or I think it levels up faster for certain gun types uh, for this. Yeah, so I can level up or upgrade certain gun types faster. And then I also can increase stats um, in certain areas like intellect or discipline. So that's really good and I think it's going to be very helpful um, acquiring these exotic faction class items for uh, the raid on Friday so that's gonna be really good so I recommend you guys doing that if you guys still have uh, yet to finish it or still working on it or didn't even hear about it or start it yet so I recommend this and um, it's gonna be good to start off your um, leveling up your light level so that's about it for this video thank you guys for watching as always and I will catch you guys in the next one I'm super excited for taking King and I will catch you guys in more videos coming soon. Peace.